really struggling this morning with what to shoot. Not because there isn't anything to shoot, but because the conditions are so boring. Just, um, just rocks and sky. I need something in the clouds. Anyway, we'll shoot it. Won't be the worst shot I ever shot. Just won't be the best either. Sun rises in like a few minutes. There's what my composition pretty much looks like. Uh, off to the right, you know, there's really nothing. I'm just trying to show the vastness of the old reservoir. Hopefully I'll catch some color in the sky over there. It often happens. Don't always get great conditions. I use days like this to scout out compositions for future shoots lots of times I think there could be a pretty good composition right here when the yuccas are in bloom so I have to put that in my little list of uh, notes to make sure I come back this way late summer I think I think my sunrise got snuffed out. It's past sunrise. So, that figures. <laughs> so, I'm trying to shoot 100 sunrises this year. Not that I want 100 sunrise shots, or I expect 100 sunrise shots, like this morning. I'm out here, but I'm not gonna get a shot. There'll be a lot of mornings like this Worst case scenario, if I shoot a hunter sunrises, I see a hunter sunrises. Maybe I'll get 10 good shots out of it. That'd be nice. So I'll use this opportunity to talk about exposing to the right and what I mean by that. If you check my histogram right here, you'll see that it's way off to the right. It's actually too far. Probably back it off to about there. And you can, hopefully you can see that the image really looks terrible. And I'm gonna shoot it. Okay, there it is. Review it, doesn't look great. Look at the histograms and they're way off to the right. I would even say the blue one's blown out. So that's not what we saw earlier though. We saw what the white one shows. You see it almost to the edge, but not past it. Well, it's a little bit lie of a lie because the blue is blown out. So we need to go reshoot that shot. So if we're gonna back off just a tad a bit more, shoot it again. Go look at your histogram and your blue looks blown out. And it may be. So we'll back off again one more time to about here. Shoot this. Check our histograms. And we've got our blue all captured. And our sky looks okay. And at least you have all the data from this point to do some editing. So the image really kind of looks best if you back off this far. It all looks great on the LCD. But if you take that image, review it, everything's captured, that's fine. But if you were to push this exposure off to the right a little bit more, you'd be able to recover a little bit more of these shadows. And I'll show you what I mean put it right about here and shoot it. And then I still have all my data, but that now I'm gonna have more shadow detail in the image, which is what I want.
So while that image isn't going to win any awards, um, still nice to be out. Still nice to keep in practice. Still nice to wait on another damn car to go by. That's the bad thing about trying to film in the Garden of the Gods is everybody wants to be here. It's a beautiful place. Can't blame them, but it does make filming difficult, especially in the evenings. Not a lot of people get up for the mornings, but everybody and their mother's out for the evenings. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this shoot up. I might walk around, drive around, and scope out a few compositions for another day. I didn't make it far from the vehicle this morning before I stopped to shoot. This is my broken leg. 